In order to create a virtual environment in Python, first I'm going to browse to my directory, which is cd, which is bnb. So I'm going to do cd create bnb. And now I'm going to say python hyphen n bnb, which is the package for the virtual environment. And this is the name of the virtual environment. So if we want to have another name, we can change this to virtual environment if you want to. And then we do enter and we created our virtual environment. Now to run our virtual environment on Windows, we should write our paths. So the name of the virtual environment, so which is virtual environment and we do backslash script and again backslash activate dot BAT. And we're in our virtual environment. Now to deactivate, we just type the same thing. Uh, we just write the same code, but we change it to deactivate.bat. Now this is not always going to work. And the reason why this is not always going to work is because here I'm using command prompt from Windows. By default, we're going to use the PowerShell in uh, Virtual Studio. So if we're going to use power, if we are using PowerShell and I'm going to run the same command, so I'm going to say virtual environment scripts activate dot BAT, it doesn't activate and it's not giving an error. So we wouldn't understand why this is not working. And this is in Windows itself, so it's not possible to open the virtual environment using the PowerShell. We need to use the command prompt. So if we're going to type the same thing, oh, if we're going to activate it right now, we're inside our virtual environment. So we should use command prompt. And imagine that we don't have command prompt right here. We can go to power we can go here on this arrow down and we choose command prompt and it's going to create a new command prompt and from here we can go again we can do cd create vnv now we're in our create vnv directory and now to open the virtual environment to activate the virtual environment we do virtual environment scripts activate dot BAT and we're inside our virtual environment to deactivate we do again just the same thing but we change activate dot BAT by deactivate dot BAT and we're again in our folder so this is how we create and how we activate and deactivate a virtual environment in Windows using Visual Studio and using command prompt in Visual Studio, so not the PowerShell.